हेलो एवरीबॉडी टुडेज लेक्चर इज अबाउट द मेथड विच आई यूज फॉर ऑनलाइन टीचिंग एंड आई विल टेल यू वट प्रोग्राम्स आई एम यूजिंग फॉर प्रिपेयरिंग माय लेक्चर्स ओवर विच आई एम डिलीवरिंग विच आई एम डिलीवरिंग टू माय स्टूडेंट्स सो द प्रोग्राम्स आई एम यूजिंग आर ओ स्टूडियो एंड ओपन बोर्ड ओके दिस इज माई ओ स्टूडियो actually initially when you will open this obs studio it will be opened like this so <clears throat> this obs studio before uh, first use it will ask you that whether you want to optimize this uh, program for live streaming or for recording so since uh, i usually do not give live streaming i record my lectures at night and then uh, with the, at my convenient time i record my lectures then i just upload these on my youtube channel so i have chosen the second option means i have optimized the uh, obs studio for recording not for the live streaming so once you have done you will come here for settings so click the settings button and after clicking settings button you can choose here different uh, general settings whatever appeals to you but the important are these video settings now you can see the base the input uh, uh, base size is actually the size of your screen that is for me it is a 14 inch laptop this is the size of the screen but the output is scaled down so please uh, keep um, in mind that you keep both these sizes as same and do not change the size at of the base canvas just change the size of the output and keep it to be same as the size of the canvas means you choose the scaling factor to be 1 so if i click this drop down menu i will choose the size to be the same as now you can see so the canvas size and the output size both will be same now there is a need to select hotkeys so there is very urgent need. it is very important setting you must choose hot keys for starting and recording and pausing and unpausing so i will choose caps lock for starting and caps lock for uh, stopping similarly if i want to pause the video i use shift and if i want to play the paused video i will again use shift so after doing all these settings you can just click close button here it will automatically ask you whether you want to change save the settings or not you just click yes and this will be the settings have been done so this black uh, canvas is available but you please remember you cannot write anything here you have to add resources here you will be writing everything on the obs and it will be actually recording so <clears throat> first of all you have to create a scene first scene is by default there is always one scene this scene is blank right now there is no resource here if you want to create more scenes you can create scenes just click the plus button here it will create scene number 2 click the plus button here it will create scene number 3 but if i click scene 1 it is blank scene 2 it is also blank scene 3 it is also blank because i have not added any resource in here so let me add some resource in scene number 1 so first you have to create a scene after that you have to add the resources so now click this plus here button here so when you click plus button here you will uh, add window capture button when you click window capture button then it will ask for you that uh, what should be the name of this window capture button i am comfortable with the default name so i will just click okay so it will show me which window is opened so you can see my desktop is open nothing else is open so i will click cancel here so i have to first open the device over which i want to, to deliver lectures so i will go to the desktop i will click start here then i will go to computer i will click here desktop on the desktop there is a shortcut for open board so i will double click here open board will be uh, actually available so you can just maximize the board size so this is available right now 
for me now you will click please remember this is important setting you will press alt and then you will press tab when you press alt plus tab then you will be able to see all the opened windows now click tab one by one until you reach obs window so i am pressing tab all tab alt i have lock pressed continuously tab i am pressing again and again now you can see i am switching between different windows so this is the obs studio so i have already reached the obs studio so after this i will now click the window capture and uh, now it will show me the opened there are two windows that that are open initially in the previous part of my lecture i showed that only one window that is desktop was open now two windows are open one is desktop other is open board i will choose open board and i will click okay so now canvas uh, is ready for open board you can just click here and you can change the size of the canvas and after that you will add another source in the another source you will add video capture device so it will show all the cameras that are available with your pc or laptop my laptop has integrated webcam which came along with the laptop itself so when i will click okay here so it will start recording my video so you can see right now i am visible and i will just click okay so this is a second layer i will decrease its size i can place it here or i can place at the bottom or i can move it up and i can move this up also so my video is available so whatever i will be writing on the board along with with that my video will be recorded now what i can do i will again add another source and there i will add some image and that image will be actually my photograph i will browse it from the desktop and on the desktop i have already placed a photograph this photograph i put in all the thumbnails of my videos so that is the third resource that i am adding i am not changing any names so i am comfortable with the default names if you want to change you can change the names so this is my video this is my photograph then i can add another resource there i can add text so in the text you can select here font you can actually decrease or increase the size let me choose the size to be 12 fonts okay then i can write here my name as dr randhir singh so the size is actually slight very small so now i will add it again so text okay i will write here dr randhir singh so then i will add it this will be the third layer i can just decrease its size and i can put it here below my photograph sometimes we are not comfortable with this kind of uh, uh, layout uh, of our lecture then what we can do we can put it we can first of all we can increase the size of this and then you can put here and with this of course my name became invisible you can change the color also so i will not just demonstrate that you can change the color also of the text so if i click here 
so you can add it again and you can edit it you can change the color or you can remove this or i can remove this so you can increase the size of the canvas and it will be like this now this part you will be just remember that you will be writing up to this part only before if if you write beyond this it will not be visible now everything is okay we are ready to go now please uh, you click here studio mode and uh, once you have done that you click transition now this is the output this is the input this is the output so after that you will again press alt plus tab and go to open board now this is my open board and i am going to start my lecture kindly remember so this was board this this icon was visible after that there will be my video below it will be my photograph so i will be sensitive that i am not going to write anything beyond this icon board icon because it will not be visible let me now press uh, uh, caps lock it will start recording so you can unfortunately you cannot see that so i have already pressed the caps lock so anything that i will st start speaking after this pressing caps lock will get recorded so now i have pressed the caps lock let us see what will be recorded suppose i want to write my name on the first slide so this is my name Randhir Singh Okay, suppose I am writing like this and my whole page is uh, filled i want to add next slide i will just click on page number two and <clears throat> there is this is my second slide i can change the color by clicking this and i can suppose i want to have show some circle diagram let us say this is inductor placed in parallel with the capacitor means i want to discuss something about lc oscillations then i can do it like this so this is how it is very easy kindly remember obs is not visible right now but it is working in the background everything that i am writing on the open board is actually now being recorded so don't worry about that so once it is done suppose my lecture is over or let us say i want to show i have told uh, shown this diagram of lc oscillations i want to show lc oscillations to the students uh, live through web i will click this web block i will search for within this range about lc oscillations animation and it will search about this so i think internet is not working right now so you can very easily do that i have already given its a example there so you can search about this so i will not uh, because internet working has stopped so you can do that about this now you can uh, you can verify very easily about it so let us say the lecture is uh, i want to go to obs studio so i press again i will press alt plus tab i will shift between various tabs and i can reach obs studio so this is my obs studio it is recording here so if i either i can press caps lock it will stop recording 
or after reaching OBS studio I will click here stop recording so now recording has been stopped once it is done you will go to file and you will click show recordings it will show you the recording that has been done right now so this is the recording that I have done so I will double click it it will start playing now I will show what has been recorded since uh, my voice will interfere with the voice of this video so I will not be speaking for the time this video is playing you just attend to it I am double clicking it from here, from here my video will be recorded, will be recorded. so let us, uh, let us just, uh, right, just now. right now welcome, welcome. Box here. Box here. So, so this is just this a small tutorial. tutorial. You can add, you can add, audio, add video, audio, video, whatever, video, whatever appeals to you. Can you can add. So, I have just, so I have just uh, 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 recorded, uh, recorded this welcome, this message, welcome message. And, and after that, after I, will that I will again put caps lock, caps lock from, from. This was the demonstration of when I was not putting the slides over the canvas now look at this second video i have pressed the, I have now you can caps lock, caps lock. let us see let us see what will be what recorded will be i have paused this video you can see this is the second demonstration that i gave to you in this you can see my pic, pic, picture and my video is available on the slide only and this portion is not uh, after this icon board this portion is not visible and I have very cautiously written that so you can check I am again playing the video let us see whatever I have written there ha has it been recorded or not according to while I was uh, writing on the board I was unable to see my own uh, picture and video but that was there jo so you do not worry it will be automatically recorded in the background now I am starting uh, I have already paused this video I am starting it now you can see what has been recorded. Suppose I want to, I want to write my name, my on, name the on the slide. first slide. So, so this is my this name. Is my name. Ranthir Singh. Ranthir Singh. Okay, I have paused the video because it is just consuming time. I think the idea that I was wanted to give to you, you have already got that idea. So this will serve your purpose and you will be able to deliver teaching. Let me again shift back to OBS studio. Now you can see in the scene one, I created everything on the whiteboard. If you want to show along with the whiteboard, you want to show some presentation, you can click scene 2, you see there are no resources here, you can add plus button here and you can add PPT here or anything you want to do that. After that you can switch between the screens but for that you have to just firstly press alt plus tab after that you have to click on the any scene which you want to show and the video will be recording uh, recorded accordingly so this was uh, about the combination of obs studio and open board 
uh, with the and both of these work uh, perfectly and uh, you will be able to teach uh, uh, online uh, very easily particularly those teachers who are teaching physics or other mathematical expression based uh, topics for them this is very easy another thing that you may have might have noticed that while i was writing my name on the whiteboard i was finding it difficult because i was writing with the uh, laptop mouse or wireless mouse this is not a good uh, practice if you want to create some more impressive uh, or and uh, fast writing then i would suggest you to spend some money and purchase a writing tablet so i can show you on the uh, amazon this writing tablet is available if i click amazon here and uh, now the internet has started working so if i click amazon here i click here week graphic tablet so this is the various models of week graphic table the smaller the cheapest one is of actually rupees 3799 and uh, i am actually using this one 7600 rupees if you want to go for a better quality you can just go for wacom graphic tablet if you it is a very user friendly graphic tablet uh, you can uh, it is there so uh, uh, it is on the higher side it is slightly expensive so but it is very good quality so you can use this also this is a compa of comparable uh, price so <clears throat> you it is very easy to use just plug in the usb into the laptop or computer and with the help of this pen start writing on it whatever you write it will appear on the ppt or it will appear on the obs uh, open board so you have to just practice for one hour or two hour and within one or two hours you will find that it is uh, damn easy to use this uh, graphic uh, tablet i hope uh, by a Mm, attending this uh, lecture through this lecture many teachers will uh, find uh, that uh, it is easier to use uh, the technology to teach online and uh, it will be helpful for many teachers to deliver lectures uh, through obs studio with the, the help of open board or instead of open board they can also use uh, powerpoint presentation or they can also use one note these are the three resources three uh, interfaces over which we can deliver our lectures so i will now stop here thank you thanks a lot